Welcome. This is part two of the preferences settings. So part one, we went over a few things. And remember, it's command K to get to your preferences. We went over type. Um, the next one is advanced type. And here, it's really important. This is controls how we superscript or subscript or small cap. It tells it the size. So say, for example, these defaults are what we usually leave it to. And it's a good uh, superscript size. But say, for example, you wanted it to be 50% there and much larger, say 80%. When I hit OK, see there, it's now applied. The superscript is larger and shifted up. So generally, I like to keep these settings as they were, but it is up to you. And this is document based, so if you change it here, it's going to apply to this document and not other ones. Uh, composition, these are the things that InDesign will show you if you have substituted fonts or if you like other things like that. Here's where you can control. You could go from points to picas, uh, some stuff about your grids. Here's where you control the size of your pasteboard. Say, for example, you had a, wanted to put a lot of stuff on your pasteboard. You can make the horizontal margins quite a bit bigger or the vertical dictionary, some stuff with your dictionary. Here's where you turn dynamic spelling on. I have a tutorial just on that. There's things like autocorrect. You can uh, enable that and as you type it will prompt you. Uh, notes, uh, things about track changes, things about how your cursors look. Here's where you can control your display performance, what the default is. Uh, typical, high quality uh, GPU. Here's where you control how your blacks look. A few things about your files when you copy, and things about your clipboard. So that is the basics of preferences.